your stomach, spin your head, have you screaming for mercy and begging for more. Roller coasters. While throughout the world there may be hundreds of these man-made monuments to thrills, there is only one king of the coasters. His name, Richard Rodriguez. His claim to fame, the world's record for the most time spent on a roller coaster. It all started in 1977, when Richard set out to best the world's record for the longest continuous coaster ride. And the world record at the time was 45 hours. And my plan at that time was just to surpass it, just to go 46. But Richard surprised everyone, including himself, when he more than doubled the old time and rattled and rolled his way to a new world's record of 103 hours and 55 minutes. A year later, Richard was at it again, this time on the Rebel Yell, which he rode for 124 hours. In 1994, he traveled to England, where he spent more than three weeks on the Big Dipper at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Along the way, Richard has perfected his roller coaster technique, making the best use of the once an hour, five minute break allowed by marathon guidelines. The strategy is to build up your break time. That's the best thing you can do. See, because you, you get off the ride for five minutes and you have to get back on, you can't do much. So what I would usually do is ride six, seven, or eight hours and take a 40, 45 minute break. That gives you some time to get off and go to the restroom and, and eat something and change your clothes. Another priority for Richard is to coast in comfort. After six, seven hours, it, you know, my body was getting jarred around, so we started padding the car. And, and then at night, it got the, you know, your body temperature drops. It gets really cold. And so I started wearing, layering my clothing. And then the next day, your face starts to get, to, starts to swell. The tissue in your face starts to swell. It gets burned. And so I started using facial creams and this and that. So your body takes a toll. I like to be in the middle because that gives you the most balanced ride, as opposed to being in the back where you have all the whiplash and being in the front where there's all the forward thrusting motion. Uh, six car from the front is always my favorite. In 1998, Richard was feeling the pressure of competition and once again climbed aboard the Big Dipper in an effort to secure his place in the record books. I had heard that there was a competitor who wanted to break my world record, so I went back uh, to Blackpool Pleasure Beach uh, in the summer of 98 to, to surpassed the 600 hour mark. For the next six straight weeks, Richard rode the rails and blew away the competition, besting his rival by an incredible 303 hours. We started June like 18th and I walked off on August 3rd and we had, uh, I'd ridden it was like 1,013 hours. And I thought that would be a brass ring. Hitting a 1,000 hour mark would be something big. Although today Richard has retired from marathoning, his record-setting wild rides have secured his place in history and in the hearts of coaster fans the world over. Uh, near Coney Island Amusement Park. I was afraid of the roller coasters. I just wouldn't go on them. I felt that one day I'd be brave enough maybe to do that. That would be my rite of passage. 
If you're a first-time rider, everybody thinks about the first drop. You have this long click, click, click up the chain that... All right, man. When I started out, the world record was 45 hours. Now here we're jumping 21 years later. The record's now 1,013 hours. The record that I set here at Blackpool, Pleasure Beach. <laughs> After that record, it was very successful, and um, we thought about, jokingly, hey, you know, in the year 2000, you're going to come back and do 2,000 hours, right? And we, everybody laughed. <laughs> well, here I am doing that record now. <laughs> Unlike other types of marathons here, you're, you know, you're, there's an element of danger. The danger and all these things and the, the confinement uh, makes you think about unusual things. I mean, I'm going around and I'm falling asleep. I mean, I'm having dreams uh, that I'm talking with people who, who, who have passed on in my family. Like, I mean, dreams of, like, talking with an uncle who's long passed on and um, uh, grandparents having conversations with them as if they were, you know, alive. Just these, these are, you know, so these are things I wouldn't normally be doing. The great classic wooden roller coasters, they're gravity roller coasters. You're going up the first hill and you hear this click, 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 click of the chain. And it's taking you way, way, way up. This is unbelievable. What, a, what an amazing hill. And you're anticipating this incredible first drop. I'm on top of the world right here.